We just got some new chains and some new binders from Harbor Freight. You gotta be a good person to return your cart, or else you'll end up on cart marks. You don't ever want to end up on cart marks. But yeah, we are somewhere in Oregon on our way up to the Dells. Got dirty truck. Dirty, dirty, dirty. All those bugs and things like that. Nasty. six miles left in our route that is not something that you want to hear when you're going to pick up a piece of heavy equipment Let's see what seven mile hill has in store for us some mud flaps and I'm gonna custom make them. I'm gonna make them for the front too because these all-terrain tires I have love to pick up rocks. And today. Are you gonna make that? I don't know no. Oh my god. Hello. And hello to you guys. <laughs> oh. Let's go talk to them about possibly rearranging where this thing is. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Possibly rearranging where this thing is. Way too much. <laughs> For real. What is it? Is that a Or her? That's a girl? What's up? Yeah. Her name's Cupcake and she has spoiled her face. No way. That's hilarious. It's been sitting for 30 years, so. Yeah. It's not like a new stump. Holy crap. Yeah. I have no idea how to judge this, but 
Um, I'd have to say no. This is probably another trip. Okay. Unless you really do think it's close to a thousand pounds. If not, I was gonna throw in the back of my Dodge. Uh... In the bed? Huh? It may not be that heavy. Low range E. I'm really gonna squat to it. I don't know. It didn't seem too bad. Oh, what are you thinking? <laughs> probably what you said. Probably. I mean, maybe 1500. I don't even say that. I'd say probably maybe 1500 or something. I don't know. Yeah, honestly, it's probably close to what you're saying. 1,500. One way to find out, but, uh, so yeah, what do you want to do? You want to, uh, well, A, I can help you put the bike in the back of the truck and then put this in the front. And yep. Then... Um, who's paying for it? I am. Yeah? yeah. Um, how much are you trying to pay to get it down there? Uh, I don't know what you're <laughs> uh, I mean, off the top of my head, I'm thinking 750, okay. but I don't know what a log stump is worth it to you guys first put in the bed of your truck yeah. I mean Did he do anything new? Did he touch you? He's like, get away from my, get away from my little one. All right, sorry. <coughs> gonna follow me up here. That sucks. I was totally gonna t work with him to get that thing brought up here. I was like, I was just, he called it quits right as I was about to tell him. I was like, dude, I'll work with you. I don't want to see you mess up your fourth gen bed right now. But that thing did, it felt light when I moved it. But once I saw the way it was moving that tractor around a little bit, it was lifting the back of it pretty good. Like it may, might have been two or three thousand pounds, and that's just a little bit. And like you know, no need for that extra amount of weight with the loader already, and also no need for me to drag it out of here. So I'm glad he's being cool, bringing us to the top here, find a nice little flat spot to load it, and be safe about this. that trailer as low as we can here. Put it in a four wheel drive because that's a big unit and really not trying to mess around with slipping around.
throat in the air. Okay. A little to your left, please. Actually, I'm sorry. You were, you were good. You're straight. You're good. Yeah. Do we need to put the bike in the back? We might have to. Let's see how this looks, though. All right, stop. Um, you can, yeah. But go slow. Yeah, okay, yeah. Go down. And you can tilt, tip it. You can tip the bucket down. No, hang on. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to put this bike in my bed. Okay. So, can you back it up, please? Yeah. Back to where it was. You can probably just roll it back. Uh, help me. Yeah. back a little bit yeah that's good we're ready to roll I'll load it up we got straps in the back three straps securing the bucket alone this kind of securing the boom part of it two chains which the guy taught me a new little trick to pull the slice together like that Got in the front and just manually tied together, nothing, no binders, nothing. Got one strap for the bucket. I don't have anything going over the bucket here. I don't really know. I ran out of straps, so I'm just gonna roll with that how it is and be good with it. That bucket's in there and tied down like that. Got the bike in the bed. Somewhat tight. Yeah, I'm good to go. Sweet. So yeah, we are ready to hit the road. Truck looks decent. It's a little, a little weighted down in the back, but it's not terrible. This thing was weird. It still doesn't look like it's super heavy in the front, but we'll see what happens. You never know. It looks like it's fucked on the bed a little bit, but should be good. I'm thinking that Extendo ho is pretty heavy back there. We'll see how it rides and yeah, the construction king. It's so nice and quiet out here. Peaceful. It's just a little sacked out, but I think we're good to go maxed out on the tongue lamp. It should be good. Let's get it. Okay, well, as always, so far, so interesting. But we got a new load on there. It's hard to see because I got so much stuff on my back. So my back window, I can't really show you back view, but we're pulling it. I mean, it's pulling it up. It's got it going. Seven mile hill, baby. And now the dilemma is, uh, dude, which way do I go? Because I could either go the way I just came to 97, which is seven mile hill road, uh, a lot of hills up and down. Come on. Oh, it's first gear hold. Heat up my transmission so fast here doing this. Hopefully, we can get it to third gear locked. Oh my god, 225, 230. My engine tip is climbing. Okay, thank god. We're locked and we're rolling. We need to get that engine tip, which are cool. I'm gonna fully crank my heater right now. Oh my god, we are hot real quick. It's because my tranny. Look at that. Yeah, see, look at how fast we heated up. We're going. We should be able to get cool in here. Come on, baby, cool. All we have is this little short, 
short blitz here and then we're downhill. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, Cummins. I don't want to slow you down. Oh my god, we're heating up so bad. I don't know what to do. Get this baby cranked up as much as I can and cooling. Hopefully that's all I can do. Yeah, there we go. We're cooling. Come on, open up, open up, open up. And we're almost going down. There we go, there we go. That helped a lot. Wow, I guess it's because we were in the low RPMs. That was bad. I thought that was good. And we need to take this nice and slow down this hill before we roast our brakes. Golly. going to Love's but now we're at TA because they have a freaking Popeyes and I was going to well not I was but I need to do an oil change on my truck so let's go find a spot to chill we're gonna park and post up and go inside get some food and stuff and let the truck cool down so that I'm not scalding myself with Oh my god, my jeans. Well, what are you doing for? Like, Jesus Christ, fucking creepy fool. I'm gonna drive far away from that guy. He looks like he's into trafficking of little girls and guns and drugs and all the above. That's a sick ass excavator. I am scared. Being hauled by a freaking arrow. That's dope. That's what I'm talking about. Like, that's. It's called like using your brain. You tag out with everything on the arrow. That's sick. You got the dog in the chair. That's so cute. That is so cute. Like, I love dogs. So, you know, that guy that has a dog, he's a good guy, in my opinion. And like, what the hell? Why is this truck stop on park posted up? Like, so busy. Like, is it that time, I guess? 
I honestly probably just pushed up with the with the squad right here, like turn in the other way and then just bam, do my oil change and handle business right there. Why how for it? That's probably what I'm just gonna do. Cause I'm just about as short as these these cats. Parking over oh, tight to that nice tight turn. Look at my axles do work. Watch my axles do work back there. Um, check this guy's, this guy's doing maintenance on his truck. And no, I think this is pretty cool. Pulling on the beat, LJ. I'm gonna bust out this oil change so quick here. Go get some Popeyes. Never mind, I'll let this thing cool. 246, it's like the highest we've ever gotten this thing. Obviously. Hummer. Yeah, give me a Hummer. Mm. Oh, hello. You okay with me parking here? Oh, Simon, Simon, no, no, Simon. Where'd you get the Mexican food? Oh, yes, Mexican food in the oh, oh my god. Dude, you got Shari's. Dude, he had Mexican food. We're in Oregon though, but is Mexican food good in Oregon? You gotta be careful with out of state, out of California Mexican food. Let's see. Shari's got. It is Muchos Gracias Mexican food? No way. I just found where I'm going. You guys have California burritos? <laughs> the funniest when you ask for a California burrito when you're not in California. Muchas gracias. That would be muchas gracias if you have a California burrito. If not, I'm going to teach him how to make it. Let's see. They have an Oregon burrito. You have got to be kidding me. They have an Oregon burrito. If not, I'm just gonna get one of their bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast burritos, I think. Yeah, do that up. Fajitas plate looks good. Their guacamole looks a little too green. It looks like wasabi. Hello. Uh, what do you guys put in your Oregon burrito? Uh, potatoes, cheese, meat, and a pico de gallo. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll take one of those, please, um, with carne asada. Yes, it's with the carne asada. Okay. And, and then, it, did you say sour cream, too? With sour cream? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, please. Sour cream. Yeah, it's Oregon burrito with sour cream? Yeah, okay, cool. And that's it. Okay, so you gonna give me like a five minutes? Yep, sounds good. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Yep, bye. Bye. She really told me pico de gallo, potatoes, meat, sour cream, and cheese. The Oregon burrito. This is good. This is going to be good. This is a new thing. I've never seen one of these before. Can't wait to try this. Okay. I got my or, or, Oregon. They call it my Oregon burrito. Um, let's see. Just on first thought. This thing smells a lot like a Taco Bell. Me too. My two green salsas, I love that. I'm sure I get more than that. It's a good size burrito. Got the size. Get a nice unwrapping. Ooh. It's greasy. That's greasy. Get the greasy side out. God, it's got a hole in it. Burrito. It's injured. It's been shot.
right, here we go. First impression. It's hot. Oh, oh my God. Now, this is the best burrito that I have ever had in my life. No. I'm just kidding. It's pretty freaking good though. The Oregon burrito. Yeah, it's about to be freaking Oregon when I eat it all. Devour this thing. Devour this burrito. It's pretty good. I think I'm gonna rate this like possibly a seven out of ten. I mean, it's got a different flavor to it. It's got a really good natural flavor to it. Um, yeah, freaking ori origan. Nice. Maybe I'll report back when I'm done. Let you know what I thought of it. Okay, we made it up to the top of the hill. There's a bit of a steep hill here in San Rafael. I learned my lesson. I kept the truck locked in the low gear and didn't heat it up this time. But big old steep, it doesn't really look that steep, but big old steep hill. And the customer's house is down there with no room to unload. So I'm going to see if I can unload this bike right here. But looks like it's going to be too steep of an angle. So let's see. All right, this should be a pretty good angle here. I don't think this bike's gonna bottom out. It didn't bottom out or anything on the way up, so get this thing unstrapped and see if we can get it unloaded.
push it in the bed. Hope it takes a little bit off the tongue. Right, let's go. Get this motorcycle down. Yeah. This new owner, which is the previous owner's father-in-law. Bike delivered. Let's get out of here. I make roads so tight. I took this out as wide as I can. I made it though. Oh, we're right. We're in uh, San Rafael, California. What kind of place is this? What kind of a place is this? Alright, have a good night. You too, buddy. Yeah. missing I don't know if they're still missing or if they found them or not but lost hills everybody all right the divine great vine
John Deere up there uh -uh. on the property? No, negative. I wonder where they moved it to. I bought that back in, uh, when was it, 1996. Got out of Washington County, which is west western Portland, back before Portland turned into a shithole. I kind of thought he was having the guy with a tractor trailer rig bring it down. I, I hate ratchet strap. As far as I'm concerned, they can burn every one of them. I either use chain or cable. Yeah. Or rope. Never use old conveyor belt or uh, fire hose for padding. No, sir. Good okay. idea. And they're usually throwing it away because it's worn out. Uh huh. But uh, fire hose works pretty good for softeners, you know, over sharp edges. Right. This makes sense. I just greased all those racks. That's how they feel. The deck is slippery. Careful on your flip flops. The deck is freaking slippery because this damn thing is leaking hydraulic fluid like a sieve. Cross you with some cha cha. Right. I'm not getting up there. Does the parking brake work? Negative. Yeah, I do. But can you operate it or do you want me to drive it off? He said you didn't know how to do it, but I can operate. Yeah, I can figure it out, but if you can do it, I'd prefer that. Sure. Yes, sir. We're not going to do any ramps. It should put this ass end on the ground by the time you get back to it. Alright. It damn near, it did lift the back I'll of my truck. Wanna... Like maybe use one of these aluminum for a softener under there? So it doesn't go down too far. Uh, no, I'm not worried about it. It's oh, gonna, it's gonna go right down to the ground and be like a tilt. But I do need you to come forward um, about a foot so I could undo one more chain over here. I don't see any other. This new shoe's got so much crap on it. You don't know what's what. Everything's in hieroglyphics. Right. Instead of English. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's just that floor break, and you're good. You don't need to be in there. I'm going to chalk this if you want to. Yeah. Okay, I'm there. Yep. Come forward about a foot or like six inch. Or... That's fine. You can just roll up on that. That's good. Here, bring.
But yeah, I live here in town. I can pretty much handle anything you need. Cars, trucks, heavy equipment, fucking planes. Oops. Thank you. Better. Have you lived here for a while? No, oh, I just came down to help him when he went up there for it's his wife's birthday today or tomorrow. Uh -huh. So I'm, like I said, I'm dad, and I eventually I will probably move down here. That was so funny. What do you mean? Knowing the controls. What do you mean? He like when you asked him to uh, take it off. Yeah. And then he like clowned on you and then got in there and then like honked the horn. I didn't hear him clown on me. He full clowned you. Really? What did he, he say? He full fucking clowned you. How did you miss that? You're gonna know a video. We'll have to watch it back. Uh, what did he so, say? So he was like, yeah, they told me you didn't know how to operate it. Oh, yeah. And then, he like you were like yeah I'm like or I could probably figure it out or whatever and he was like okay or whatever he really? said something like that uh -huh. and I was like what the? and then he got in there and honked the horn like, he did the same the thing I would have done move yeah. every lever until you figure out yeah. which one does like what you wanted to or whatever. Yeah. what are you talking about these new things like, that was funny though I thought that was Right on. Yeah, no, when I was there, the other guy loaded and everything, his son loaded everything, and I asked him for a little tip on how to drive it when I was done. But for them to tell him that I don't know how to drive it is yeah, yeah, yeah. absurd, and that's also bad teaching on his part because he obviously didn't teach me how to drive it. There's a very cute wedge and single cap dually right there, Green. But there's this. I'm not hating on it. I'm just glad my trailer didn't turn out looking like this as a home build. I'm sure this thing's probably just as capable, just as just as fun, you know, but looks a little ranky dinky. We got Starbucks. Drink it. Dead yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're back to the dump. Okay, well after some quick calculations, that loader only weighed 13,000. It weighs 12,980 pounds. So, turns out my trailer, my setup is more he is heavier than I thought it was. My setup weighs 14,560 pounds empty with just my truck and trailer. That's kind of a lot. I need to, I need to get that number down. 